Isa ka ba yung adlaw sa Sabado, mga kazi-skola? Kinis Teacher JL, welcome sa itong uh, first hour din sa itong programang Radio Z-Skola. Ziguradong masaya oras na ito, mga kazi-skola. Give it a check. It's 10.30 in the morning. Time check is brought to us by Phoenix uh, Carvada Tagum Gasoline Station and Mackenzie Builders. Again, we welcome you to the first hour of today's edition of Radio Z-Skola. Upat ka oras sa magkakuban mga kasi iskola Again, this is Teacher JL from 10am down to 2pm mga kasi iskola 4 hours of being together today And uh, today, we will have uh, technical vocational livelihood uh, tawag again, um, Subject for today and topics for today So we have for 10am, TVL, Bread and Pastry Production uh, preparing uh, dessert, dessert, and then uh, we have uh, at 11 a.m. we have TVL cookery, cooking uh, poultry and game bird dishes, and uh, at 12 we will have TVL computer system servicing, and at uh, one o'clock we will have electronics product assembly and servicing. Right, so nakalive ta sa atong uh, to look at Facebook pages, mga Zskola. We have Facebook Live at Z Radio 88.5. Dep and Tide Division of Davo de Oro Radio Z Escola Dep and Davo de Oro And we have our YouTube channel Radio Z Escola DDO And uh, if you're listening Through your uh, Mobile phones kayon, I mean uh, Through your apps uh, Z Radio apps Mga Z Escola O uh, sa inyo mga radio Ang inyong i-text ng mga number 0953-211-3492 That's again 0953-211-3492 2113492 right so mga kasi iskola again magpaabot mi sa inyo ang uh, mga messages din sa atong uh, programa ng Radio Z Iskola all right so we will begin with our first lesson mga kasi iskola and our first lesson will be given to us by ma'am na uh, Cheryl S Absin teacher 2 of Pindasan National High School that's TVL Bread and Pastry Production. Kaya mga kasi iskola, let's get ready. Tayo na, tara na, magklase na ta. We are now in the fourth quarter in our lesson in cookery. Today, we will be discussing all about preparing desserts and with integration on preparing eggs. The objectives of today's lesson are At the end of this episode, the students will be able to learn how to identify the different classifications of desserts. Number two, prepare, plate, present, and store an example of dessert and sweet sauces. And number three, appreciate the importance of dessert and its business opportunity. I know that lots of you are very eager enough and excited and longing to see your classmates face to face. But we are still fighting to end this crisis. Always remember, bida ang solusyon. Bawal walang mask, isanitize ang kamay, dumistansya ng isang metro, at alamin ang totoong impormasyon. Education still continues right in your home. Now, please get your modules and listen carefully as you tune in in our program, Radio Z Escuela, School on the Air, so that you will be able to follow our discussions and learn another lesson from our specialization. 
But before we proceed, may I remind you of the following simple rules on how to use your modules. Number one, use the module with care. Do not put a necessary mark or marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Number two, read the instructions carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the quarter 4, module 1 of 2 of our subject cookery. Number 3, observe honesty, integrity, and most especially safety in doing the task and checking your answers. Number 4, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number 5, return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. Now, are you ready? Very good! I guess everything is all set. Then, let's begin! Guessing game. Name the tool. Can you guess the picture? How about its uses and functions? Can you still remember? Let's try! Picture number one. Yes, it's a measuring spoon. It is used in measuring small quantity of ingredients. Picture number two. Scraper. Used to blend or scrape the food from the bowl. How about picture number three? It's a type of a baking pan or llanera. This is used for molding or baking. Picture number four. Mixing bowl. This is used in mixing ingredients. And the last but not the least, picture number five. Good job! Picture number five is a steamer. It's used to cook foods with a moist, hot air. Wow! That's awesome! Great job! These tools are very important in preparing desserts. With all those examples of tools that has been presented, what do you think is the kind of dessert that we will be preparing? Can you guess? Our lesson for today is all about the different types or classification of desserts. Then, we will also prepare one of those. Are you ready? But before that, please read the lesson information on page 166 to 174. This will guide you along our way as you will journey the world of desserts. Now desserts are usually sweet course or dish served at the end of the meal. It balances the whole meal. These are the classifications of desserts. Number 1. Fruits Examples, we have the buku salad and the fruit platter. Number 2, we have the cheese. Examples, we have the cheese tower and strawberry cheesecake. Number 3, we have the gelatin dessert. Examples, we have the buku pandan and cathedral. Next, we have the custard. Examples, we have the Brazo de Mercedes and the Leche Flan. Number 5, we have the Puddings. These are the Maha Blanca and Cassava Cake. Next, we have the Cobblers. Example, we have the Peach Cobbler. And the last but not the least, we have the Frozen Desserts. This includes the Ice Cream. 
the sherbet and the ices, and the souffles and the mousses. Sweet sauces are flavored liquid blend of ingredients that adds flavor and enhances the appearance of the food. These sauces are categorized as custard sauce, purees, and syrup. Did you find it mouth-watering? Who among you have tried all kinds of dessert? Would you like to make one? You know, there's more. You can make business out of it. And surely, you will love its profit. One of the most valued desserts in the Philippines is the leche flan. It is made from the eggs and milk. It has a layer of soft caramel on top and smooth custard on the bottom. It is usually served during parties and special occasions. It was also derived from a French custard dessert or the creamy caramel. Preparing leche flan is also part of unit of competency in preparing egg dishes. Now, I will demonstrate how to make a leche flan. Here are the ingredients and costing. 10 egg yolks, that is 100 pesos. 1 can evaporated milk. 27 pesos 2 cans of condensed milk 65 pesos and the zest of lemon 4 pesos and of course we need 2 to 4 tablespoons of sugar for caramelizing and that is for 5 pesos and of course we need to store our output that's why we need packaging. Packaging composed of 25 pesos. The total amount is 226 pesos. And we will be able to yield 5 leche flans for 100 pesos each. That is 500 pesos. And our net profit is 274 pesos. Wow! That's amazing! Again, these are the ingredients. 10 egg yolks, 1 can evap milk, 2 cans of condensed milk, and a cyst of lemon, and then 2 to 4 tablespoons of sugar for caramelizing. Now, let us proceed with the demonstration. First is you're going to turn on the stove in very low heat under a steamer. Next, we need to caramelize the sugar into the llaneras, making sure it will not be burnt. In a separate bowl, separate egg yolks from the whites. Stir gently, then add in the milk, the evap and the condensed milk. Then, zest in the lemon rind. Strain the mixture twice and fill in the llaneras in more than half full. Cover with foil or transparent cellophane. Cook in a steamer for 40 minutes under low heat. 
If done, cool down and run a knife on the sides. Turn it upside down and store in a plastic container. For plating, serve in a dessert plate and garnish with cream and caramel nest. Now we're done! It's your turn to cook now. Kindly turn your module on page 181 for the performance test and the rubrics. Okay, let's check if you did the task well. Good job! At this time, we will have our post-test to assess what you have learned from our lesson. Direction, I will read the question twice. Write the answer on your test notebook. Again, I'm going to read the question twice and you are going to write the answer on your test notebook. Ready? Which of the following is an example of a frozen dessert? A. Egg pie B. Mango float C. Sapin sapin D. Turon Again, which of the following is an example of a frozen dessert? A. Egg pie B. Mango float C. Sapin sapin D. Turon Number 2. How does cobblers differ from pies? A. They are topped with biscuit dough. B. They must only be served hot. C. It tastes sweet. And letter D. It was baked. Again, how does cobblers differ from pies? A. They are topped with biscuit dough. Letter B. They must only be served hot. Letter C, it tastes sweet. And letter D, it was baked. Number 3. Which is not a characteristic of a good fruit dessert? A. Appetizing aroma. B. Complex or complicated flavor. C. Slightly chilled. D. Fresh appearance Again, which is not a characteristic of a good fruit dessert? A. Appetizing aroma B. Complex or complicated flavor C. Slightly chilled Letter D. Fresh appearance Next, number 4 The common element for all desserts It is it serves as sweeteners. Again, it is a common element for all desserts and it serves as sweeteners. A. Chocolate B. Gelatin C. Milk and Letter D. Sugar Again, Letter A. Chocolate B. Gelatin C. Milk and Letter D. Sugar Which of the following sauces is suited to a simple dessert? A. Cold sauce B. Hot fudge sauce C. Light sauce and Letter D. Rich sauce Again, which of the following sauces is suited to a simple dessert? A. Cold sauce B. Hot fudge sauce C. Light sauce and letter D, rich sauce. Now, let us check your answers. For number one, the answer is letter B, mango float. Number two, the answer is letter A, they are topped with biscuit dough. Next, number three, 
Letter B. Complex or complicated flavor. Number four. Letter D. Sugar. And number five. Letter D. Rich sauce. Now, check the number and count your correct answers. Write your score in the upper right portion of your test notebook. You did it! Now, let us check if we hit our objectives for today. At the end of this episode, you will be able to learn how to identify the different classifications of desserts. Next, prepare, plate, present, and store desserts and sweet sauces. And number three, appreciate the importance of dessert and its business opportunity. Thank you for tuning in and job well done everyone. Please don't forget to submit all your outputs during the scheduled retrieval and distribution of modules. Once again, thank you so much. This is Teacher Cheryl as I've seen. Leaving your coat, a happy tummy creates a happy life. And the opposite of stress is dessert. Till next time, goodbye! Yeah.
Department of Education with the support of World Vision Development Foundation. Face to face, got me the 
isang alang-alang natin ang ating kaligtasan sa bawat oras at panahon magpakailanman hangat palagi ng ating paaralan ang matuto gayon din maging ligtas ang kabataan tayo ay magkaisa halina sama-sama kasali lahat kasama lahat para sa lahat Pilipinas maganda ka na balik eskwela na tara tayong lahat sabay-sabay magkaisa Tawag na tahanan Ah, halagahan Patuloy pagyamanin Tulay at hindi Pag nabilihin natin Buka lang Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatili magkasangga Lagi tayo kakapiling natin Ano man ang mararating Mararating Mananatili tayo ay magkasangga Dahil sa tuwing kasama ka Kabayan ka, brigada Lahat ay kayang gawin Bigat ay kayang buhatin Pusong brigada, swela Walang iwanan tayo Walang iwanan tayo The Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, and Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, Reing Construction Company, Rangay Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Counselor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertadas, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply, Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee, the school's division superintendent, Euphemia T. Gamutin Seso 5. Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte. Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña. Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia Nohara O. Pinute Dr. Grace D. Pontilias Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc Juanito Lapiceros Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi Ryan Villanueva Jomar M. Dumupoy Bob Daylan S. Milabat Medard D. Apit 
and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judiland D. U., Donna D. T. Bolifer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riven C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas. Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Radyo Ziskwela, Ziguradong Masaya. Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao. Ang radyo, hanapin ang Z-Radio Halika na at makinig, mag-aaral tayo yeah! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Makinig, matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela May matutuhan bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Damo di Oro Radyo Z-Skwela Maraw, ganun ka siya'y susulong Kaya, halika na, mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radyo Ziskwela Makinig matuto Sa Radyo Ziskwela May matutuhan bago Sa Radyo Ziskwela Siguradong masaya Dabaw di oro Radyo Ziskwela ng DepEd Davao de Oro Radio si Skwela Siguradong masaya! Let's go! Muli po nagbabalik ang Radio Z Skwela. Sigurado masaya. Oras natin mga ka-Z. 11.08 na sa Kabuntagon. Oras sa tin po sa atin ng Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated and also brought to us by WM Construction. Ito pa rin po si Teacher JL hanggang alas dos ng hapon. And uh, welcome you to the second hour of today's edition of Radio Z Skwela. We're done with uh, Ma'am Cheryl S. Absin's uh, Lesson presentation, that's TVL Bread and Pastry Production, preparing dessert. Uh, nato siya ganina, no? All the way from uh, Pindasan National High School. And for our second lesson, Magazine Skola, we're gonna have Sir Michael J. Leones, teacher one of Composal National High School. And he's gonna be talking about TVL cookery, cooking poultry and game bird dishes. And but before that, of course, we would just like to greet uh, Ma'am Ab Jane Serato. Thank you so much for watching, Sir Lance Tan. Thank you very much for listening and watching. And of course, our education program supervisor, sa uh, TLE, of course, si Ma'am uh, Noemi Canales, kanagtan akaran. Thank you very much for listening, Ma'am uh, Noemi. All right, oras natin magazi eleven ten na sa kabuntagan, and we are now going to present. Our next lesson with Michael J. Leones. Kaya mga si Iskwela, tara na tara na, magklasi na ta. Today is April 25, 2021. Welcome to the wonderful world of School in the Air where you can learn as you listen on air at 88.5 Radio C. Escuela. I am excited to share something new today. Join me this day as we will be together listening and learning on air with cookery, 
Home Economics. I am Teacher Michael J. Leones, ang inyong maestro sa kahanginan from Senior High School Department of Compostela National High School, the center stage of education performance, the vision of Davao de Oro. Welcome to our new episode of Learning and Relearning Things. Alright, before anything else, I want you to be in your place where you are most comfortable. Again, find a place where you are comfortable while listening on Z Radio. Are you ready, learners? Wow, that's great! We are now in a 26th week and cook yearly and tackle the learning outcome number 2. Cook poultry and gummy bird dishes. Before we start for our lesson, let me introduce to you our learning objectives. The objectives of today's lessons are Number 1. Perform Mason Club Number 2. Cook poultry and gummy dishes Number 3. Plate, present, and evil way poultry and gummy dishes Learners, please get your mojo in cookery and make sure to listen carefully for you to be able to comprehend all the necessary learnings as we continue to explore to the world of cooking. Are you ready? I'm pretty much sure that you, everyone is ready and we shall now begin our lesson. Today, we will be preparing a poultry dish or a chicken that suits in your appetite. We will be cooking a chicken teriyaki. Are you excited, learners? Do you have any idea of chicken teriyaki all about? Well, chicken teriyaki is a super easy chicken recipe cooked in a 10 to 15 minutes with no marinating process. Usually, teriyaki comes from the Japanese traditional cooking. Tere means to shine, and yaki means to broil or grill. However, we will be using the process of stir frying, sauteing, and simmering method. A hint of garlic added a twist of traditional Japanese teriyaki chicken recipe and make it absolutely suit in your mouth and appetite. This is better than anyone in the store bought the yaki sauce at your home. So, let's go to my kitchen! Hello learners! Welcome to my kitchen, the biggest kitchen. So this is my workstation where I cook and make my recipes and cookery and very pastry. So, as I told you, uh, we will be cooking a traditional Japanese food or cuisine, which is the chicken teriyaki that absolutely suit your appetite. So, let's start! These are the following ingredients that we needed. 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of honey, 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of mix of paprika, black pepper and salt, ginger, garlic, spring onion, 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour or cornstarch, 2 tablespoons of oil, 2 tablespoons of water, and the last one is breast or chicken breast or chicken thigh. In a frying pan, add the cooking oil. Put the chicken breasts or the thigh into the pan. Fry it until it turns into golden brown. Fry it until the both sides of the chicken turns into golden brown.
add the mixtures of the prepared ingredients. Let it simmer by the heat to make it the chicken more tender, juicy, and moist. Let the sauce become thicker. And that's it! It's already cooked and ready to serve. So, this is our Japanese traditional cuisine, the chicken teriyaki. Bon appetit! The Radio Zizbala program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply. Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, Nen Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We In Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction. Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. So, learners, I will give to you a task at home. You are going to make this recipe I made, the chicken teriyaki. Just follow the recipe and procedures in making chicken teriyaki. Just follow also the video so that you will be guided properly. Understand? I will administer also the activity sheets together with the recipe and rubrics for evaluation of your performance. Take note, learners. Don't forget to observe a and plan and occupational health and safety or OHS. If you are done this week, just took a picture of your final output and send it to my messenger so I can evaluate your performance. Thank you for tuning in and congratulations everyone! Please don't forget to submit all your output in my messenger or the messengers of your advisors or cookie subject teacher. I am glad that you're with me until this time. Thank you so much! Once again, this is Teacher Michael J. Leones leaving you a message from me. Always think, you are great, you are amazing, you're tremendous creatures. Stay who you are and be the silver lining of your own future to be a successful human being. Till next time, goodbye! Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee The School's Division Superintendent Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Romel R. Handayan 
Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte. Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medar D. Apit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lorily E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judilan T. U., Donna D. T. Bolifer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas. Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Radyo Ziskwela, Ziguradong Masaya! Right and only here at Z-Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao! Sugata ang adlaw with a smile Tuning us on radio in a live Listen to some man good Listen to the music and it feels so good Ay kong dangi hangtot Mapapunta ka pero lingaw man pot Sa balay man o trabaho Bisa na sa man ka mo ato Giving you the best music Di relax sa Z-Radio Kahit man at lang siguradong lingaw Dili man pa ulahi Kay siguradong tuyaw Para sa bulawan o na probinsya Tagaan mo glingaw Kahit giving you the best music And everything that's what make us proud So turn your radio up Don't stop Chillin' while you tune in So radio All day, all night Dito yun lang sa Z-Radio Isa no gasa pa ka pa dudong Sa balay man o trabaho Giving you the best music And everything dito lang sa Z-Radio Kahit ang at lang Z-Radio
tayo'y puumlar at aangat. Tawag na tahanan At halagahan Patuloy pagyamanin Kulay at hindi Pagnatilihin natin Buto lang Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatili magkasangga Lagi ay kakapiling natin Lalo-lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya Ika'y di sumusuko, lumalaban at nangangako Maihati pa rin ang servisyong tutuo Para sa kabataan, ginagawa ang lahat Maibigay lang ang edukasyong karapat dapat Kaya ang awit kong ito Ialay ko sa'yo Deped ako'y saludo sa'yo Sa katapatan mo sa Pilipino Ngayong kaarawan mo Tanggapin mo ang pagpupo Sa ngalan ng servisyo, dedikasyon sa trabaho Pagmamahal ng isang ina, nararamdaman ko Ikaw ang humuhubog sa aming kinabukasan Laging inuuna ang kapakanan ng kabataan Kaya
Department of Education with the support of World Vision Development Foundation. Cell phone and radio base. You copy 
pagpatuloy pag-aaral mo Akong payay naghihintay sa iyo Balik eskwela na naman Sa bungso ang kahandaan Handang isip, handa bukas Sa pagkakaisa ay may lakas Eko na ang new normal Online learning ang kotulat Di na kailangan mo face to face Gamit ang cellphone at radio base Sa bawat oras at panahon, magpakailanman Hangat palagi ng ating paaralan Ang matuto, gayon din maging ligtas ang kabataan Tayo ay magkaisa, halinan sama-sama Kasali lahat, kasama lahat, para sa lahat Pilipinas, maghanda ka na, balik iskwela na tara Tayong lahat, sabay-sabay, pagkakaisa ay may lakas Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medar D. Apit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judilan D. U., Donna D. T. Bolivar, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas, Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Rajas Iskwela, Ziguradong Masaya. Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao. Ang radyo, hanapin ang Z-Radio Halika na at makinig, mag-aaral tayo yeah! Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Makinig, matuto Sa Radyo Z-Skwela May matutuhan bago Sa Radyo Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Damo di Oro Radyo z
escuela. Umulan mat maraw, kano nga siyoy susulong kaya? Halika na, mag-aaral tayo! Sa Radio Ziskwela, makinig matuto. Sa Radio Ziskwela, may matutuhang bago. Sa Radio Ziskwela, siguradong masaya. Davao di Oro, Radio Ziskwela. Handog ng DepEd Davao di Oro, Radio Ziskwela, siguradong masaya. Let's go! Welcome back to Radio Z Skuela. Oras natin, it's 11.43 in the morning. Time check is brought to us by Mitch Construction and Supply. Also brought to us by DB Construction and Supply. And of course, nakalive pa rin po tayo sa tatlong Facebook pages natin. It's Facebook Live at Z Radio 88.5 FM. Dep at Tire Division of Davao de Oro and Radio Z Skuela. Dep at Davao de Oro. And nakalive din po tayo sa ating YouTube channel at Radio Z Skola DDO. All right, uh, we would like to say hello to Angel uh, Diamante of BSE1 or BSE uh, 1E ng main campus. Thank you so much for watching. And we are done with our first two uh, lessons uh, today um, in the morning. Kay uh, Ma'am Cheryl S. Absin uh, lesson, we had... TVL Bread and Pastry Production and uh, Michael J. Leones TVL Cookery Right, so we're gonna move on to our next uh, lesson mga kasi-skola We're gonna have uh, grade, sorry, TVL Computer System Servicing Planning and uh, Preparing for Maintenance and Repair Bibigay sa atin yan ni, ni Sir R.G. Bilandres Teacher 1 of Kamanlangan National High School. Kaya mga kasi-skola, magsisimula na ang ating uh, third lesson for today. That's with Sir R.G. Bilandres. Kaya tara na, tara na, magklase na ta. Good day, Davao de Oro, and to all Z Escuela listeners, especially to the grade 12 CSS students who are listening to us right now, on their radios at home, and joining with us with our Facebook Live. I am your teacher presenter, Arjib Landres, from Kamanlangan National High School. Good day, CSS Senior High School students. We are on air at 88.5 Z Radio. How are you doing today? Wow, you are all doing great. That's good to know. Join me as we will be together for one hour. So ready yourself for today's radio-based instruction. Alright, please find a suitable area and make yourself comfortable. Before we begin with our new topic, let us first have a quick review of the previous lesson. In our previous lesson, you have learned how to configure a domain network. Now, let us review about the basic theory of a domain network. A domain network is a centralized network which controls and limits the function of another computer. It is one of the most secure network-based management systems. Organizational Units Organizational units are containers that can hold any other type of object to form a hierarchy. Organizational units are used to organize objects 
into logical groupings. Active Directory Domain Services or ADDS stores information about users, computers, and other devices on the network in a security border known as a domain. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol or the DHCP server enables user to assign IP addresses to computers and other devices that are enabled as DHCP clients on the network. We have what we call the DNS server. It resolves host names to internet protocol addresses in both IP address version 4 and IP address version 6. And so we have the file services, provides technologies for storage management. Active Directory or the AD is used to perform confirmation and permission of users to access resources. Transmission Control Protocol or the TCP ensures data in the correct order, delivery of data, and follows an arrangement of connection and then terminates that connection after transfer is complete. It also adds reliability of service. And so we have the ports. Port 21, Port 25, and Port 80. Port 21 is for file transfer protocol. Port 25 it's a simple mail transfer protocol. Port 80, hypertext transfer protocol. We have the user datagram protocol, typically used for broadcast communication in which data packets are sent into multiple computers. Virtual private networks facilitates connections across point-to-point -point network. A VPN client computer can access resources on the VPN server network as if it is present locally. Gateway Gateway represent where the direct traffic can match or matches the network and netness. And so we have the sharing option. We have the full control, the modify, the read and execute, and we have the read and write. When you say full control in a sharing option, a user can change, move, add, and delete files. It can also change permission settings. And so we have the modify. It can view and modify files only. Read and execute. Can execute files including script. Read. User can view file. So we have the write. Write means user can write to a file. And so we have the types of IP address or the types of IP addresses. Class A. The first octet signifies the network address and the last Three octets are the host portion. Class B IP address, first two octets represent the network address. And the last two octets are the host. We have the class B IP address. The first octet is between 128 to 191. Class B. The first three octets represents the network and the last octet is the host portion in between 192 to 223 in a class C IP address. Class D is used for multicast ranging from 224 to 239. We have folder redirection. It enables user and administrators to direct the path of a network to a new location. 
either in manual or using the group policy management. In a folder redirection, user can interact with files in the redirected folder as if it is still working on the physical local drive. So, that concludes our review. So, our discussion today will focus on maintaining and repairing computer systems and networks of Lesson 11 of Computer Systems Servicing. We have the topic, Planning and Preparing for Maintenance and Repair. We have the lesson objectives, to understand the system maintenance tips and techniques and determine the basic troubleshooting technique. So, let's discuss. First in line, we have occupational health and safety procedures in servicing the system unit. So before you start disassembling your computer, always remember the following steps. So we have read and follow instruction in the manual carefully. Please do not work alone so that there's someone who can take care of you in case of accident or emergency. And always power off and unplug the computer before working on it. Take off any metal objects in your arms or in your fingers such as the bracelets, rings, or watches. And always ground yourself or discharge yourself before touching any parts of the system unit. Be careful with the tools that may cause short circuit, such as the screwdriver or the Phillips screwdriver. Handle all parts with care. If a component does not come out easily, do not use excessive force. Be sure you're standing in the dry place and use a rubber shoes or use any anti-static man. Make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting to a cable connector. Take away any liquid such as mineral water or soft drinks near your working area or near your computer. Personal protective equipment is correctly used in accordance with OHS procedures and practice. Hazard or risk in the workplace under spending indicators are identified to minimize or eliminate risk to co-workers, workplace, and environment. Take necessary precautions to protect the components of the computer from damages caused by electrostatic discharge and hold the component's edge and do not touch the IC. Those are the steps in preparing or disassembling your system unit. So let's talk about the motherboard. How do we choose the best and the correct motherboard? So we have the motherboard selection criteria. The following list includes some of the most important criteria to consider when selecting a motherboard. We have number one, the motherboard chipset. The motherboard chipset is one of the backbone of a system and it affects and influences virtually every other component in the system. So before buying, Compare the features of the available chipsets to ensure that the board will do what you want. For example, some chipset includes support for faster memory or for the PCI, for the SATA up to 6GB drives, and optional RAID capabilities. Number two, the processor socket. Stay tuned and we will be right back. The Raja Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, 
Archicon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. We're back, learners. So let's talk about the motherboard. How do we choose the best and the correct motherboard? So we have the motherboard selection criteria. The following list includes some of the most important criteria to consider when selecting a motherboard. Number two, the processor socket. So when selecting a motherboard, it is very important to select the processor socket or to determine the processor socket. The processor socket of the motherboard dictates about the processor model you will be able to install. In most cases, you have a processor in mind. So choose a motherboard with a socket that supports the processor you want to use. Check the motherboard specification for what a specific processor are supported in the given motherboard. So when we buy a computer, it is very important to determine the compatibility between the motherboard and the processor. So we have the number three. So let's talk about the memory. The type and the amount of memory compatible with the system depends on the motherboard you choose. So most motherboard today's support either DDR2 or DDR3 memory in either single, dual, or triple channel operation. The number of memory sockets, supported speeds, and other variables also depends on the motherboard. So check the board specification to see exactly what is supported. Next, in choosing motherboard, it is important to determine the form factor. So what is a form factor? The form factor indicates the size and shapes of the board and must be compatible with the chassis or case and the power supply. For the maximum flexibility, performance, reliability, and ease of use, motherboard based on the ATX and micro ATX form factors are recommended. So what are the recommended form factors of the motherboard? Those are the ATX and the micro ATX. Larger form factors such as ATX offer more slots and rooms for additional integrated components and features. Smaller variation on ATX are also available. But in the end, you need to be sure that the motherboard is compatible with the case in the power supply you have chosen. We have number five. The current system offers one to five or more PCI or PCIe slots, depending on the form factor. So again, the slot depends on the size and the shapes of your motherboard. Some boards have more than one PCIe for video card slot, which you may want if you're running multiple video card in an SLI or Crossfire X arrangement. Make sure that the board you choose have the number of types of slot you require. So keep in mind that PCI is fading away in the latest motherboards. So if you want to use existing PCI cards, make sure to choose a motherboard 
that has enough PCI slack or has integrated ports that replaces the functionality of your PCI cards. And so we have the onboard ATA or the onboard AT interface. All motherboards on the market have included onboard serial and parallel ATA interface for some time now. But not all are equal. Look for boards that include at least 4 to 6 SATA connectors, which support for 6 gigabits per second or the 6 Gbps, as well as optional RAID functionality. 7. Other built-in interfaces. Ideally, a motherboard should contain as many as built-in standard controller and interfaces as possible. Most boards feature integrated USB, sound, and LAN. Look for those offering Gigabyte Ethernet. Whereas others also have integrated video, Firewire, E, SATA, Dual LAN adapter, and more. Documentation Good technical documentation is important. Documents should be easy to download from the manufacturer's site and should include the information and any and all jumpers and switches found on the board. Number 9 technical support good online technical support goes beyond documentation it includes easy downloadable driver and bios updates facts updated table of processor and memory compatibility so those are the necessary components when choosing a correct motherboard again if you wanted to buy a motherboard, you have to remember first the motherboard chipset followed by the processor socket or the memory slot, its form factor, the bus slots, and onboard AT interfaces, and of course the built-in interface. Next, we have the term ESD. So what is an ESD and a computer term? ESD is a small amount of electricity that can destroy small parts of your computer. So if we have ESD, we have anti-static device. Devices designed to protect the computer from any static electricity. We have example of anti-static device is the anti-static rest trap, the anti-static mat, the anti-static bag, and the anti-static spray. We have the term power surge protectors. Devices that decide to protect the computer from sudden power surges from intermittent power source. Example of this, we have the AVR or the Automatic Voltage Regulator and the UPS. So we have Periodic Maintenance Scheme. So how do we maintain our computer system? Could be we have a daily schedule, a weekly schedule, a monthly schedule, and a yearly schedule. So we have the example on a daily basis of maintaining our computer system. We have first, on a daily basis, you can check your computer for possible virus attacks. Next, do a incremental backup for your files for each day. And if there's anything that crashes from your computer, always restart and try to check and repair your system in a weekly basis you can scan your computer against viruses using your antivirus next a complete backup of your file and always update your operating system in a monthly basis you can clean your pc or your laptop inside and out and always defrog your hard drive to speed up its operation in a yearly basis 
You can check your programs, clean up unused programs, perform a reform at your hard drive, and reinstall the operating system if possible. And make a full diagnostic check on your hardware and software. So how do we protect our computer in a cyberspace? So how do we safeguard our computer against malware? What is a malware? Malware is a type of software that is designed to damage your computer or gain an authorized access to your personal information. A virus includes a worm, a Trojan horse, and a spyware. Most malware is distributed over the internet and is often bundled with other software. The best way to guard against malware is to install antivirus software. Next, it is important to stay smart when browsing the web or using your email. If a website or email attachment looks suspicious, trust your instinct. Keep it in mind that your antivirus program may not catch everything. So how do we back up our computer? Imagine what would happen if your computer suddenly stopped breaking. Luckily, you can prevent this by creating a backup copies of your files or in an external drive or an online backup service. So remember, an external hard drive. So you can purchase an external hard drive and copy all the information in your computer that is considered as backup. The initial backup could take several hours. So you will need to select a period of time when you do not need to access your computer. Running the backup overnight usually works best. One drawback of the external hard drive is that it can be lost, damaged, or stolen, just like your computer. This is why it is important to keep your drive in a secure location when not in use. And so we have the online backup. You can back up your files in an online system or format like Ozi, Carbonate, or box or you can use your Google Drive this service will back up your file in a cloud which means you will be able to recover them from any computer with an internet connection the amount of storage provided by the site varies so you will need to pay a fee for adequate storage space one drawback of an online backup services is that the initial backup can be slow and may even take days to upload. And so we have the other maintenance techniques. To keep your computer running smoothly, it is important to keep your files and folder uncluttered. Cluttered or unorganized folders make it more difficult to find the files you need. Additionally, unwanted files can be eventually fill up your drives. Here are the few things you can do to delete unwanted files and improve your computer's performance. We have first, delete files. If you have any unwanted files, you can delete them manually. To do this, drag them to the recycle bin or trash bin. Then empty it, permanently delete the files, or simply right-click the file and delete it. Next, run a disk defragmenter. Windows includes a disk defragmenter program in the control panel. If your computer is running slow, running disk defragmenter can help to speed up the process. We have a disk cleanup. Windows also include a disk cleanup. A program in a control panel, it scans your computer for temporary files and other files that can be deleted. You can then delete the files to free up space in your hard drive. And so we have the basic troubleshooting techniques. So how do we troubleshoot the computer? Do you know what to do if your screen goes blank? Whenever you have a problem with your computer, don't panic. There are many basic troubleshooting techniques you can use to fix issues like this. We'll show you some simple tips or things to try when troubleshooting as well as how to solve common problems you may encounter. There are many different things that could cause a problem with your computer. So no matter what causing the issue, troubleshooting will always be a process of trial and error. Again, troubleshooting will always be a process of trial and error. In some cases, you may need to use several different approaches before you can find a solution. First, 
write down your steps. Once you start troubleshooting, you may want to write down each step you take. This way, you will be able to remember exactly what you've done and can avoid repeating the same mistakes. If you end up asking other people for help, it will be much easier if they know exactly what you've tried already. So again, write down the process. Next, take notes about the error messages. If your computer gives you an error message, be sure to write down as much as information as possible. You may be able to use this information later to find out if other people are having the same error. Stay tuned and we will be right back. The Raja Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated Maverick Builders Incorporated Mitch Construction and Supply Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply DB Construction and Supply Hanawai Builders Corporation Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station Master Construction and Supplies Mackenzie Builders GP and H Construction Incorporated Metro Gear Construction Corporation NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated We Inc Construction Company Rangai Construction and Supply East Sussex Enterprise WM Construction Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo Icon Builders and Supply and Apex Mining Company Incorporated we're back, learners. Take notes about the error messages. If your computer gives you an error message, be sure to write down as much as information as possible. You may be able to use this information later to find out if other people are having the same error. Next, always check the cables. If you have a problem with specific piece of computer hardware, such as one keyboard, an easy first step is to check all related cables to make sure they are properly connected. Next, restart the computer. When all else fails, restart the computer is a good thing to try. This can solve a lot of basic issues you may experience with your computer. Using the process of elimination. If you're having an issue with your computer, you may be able to find out what's wrong using the process of elimination. This means you'll make a list of things that could be causing the problem and then test them out one by one to eliminate them. Once you've identified the source of your computer issue, it will be easier for you to find a solution. We'll talk about other common computer problems and some ways to solve them. Problem number one, power button is not functioning. So solution, if your computer does not start, begin by checking the power cord to confirm that it's plugged in securely into the back of your computer case and to the power outlet. Solution number two, if it is plugged into the outlet, make sure it is a working outlet. To check your outlet, you can plug in another electrical device such as a lamp or a charger. Next, solution number three, if the computer is plugged in into the power source, verify that it is turned on. You can also plug a lamp or other device into a surge protector to verify if it is working properly. Now let us check your understanding. We will have a formative assessment. Direction, write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Number one, planning and preparing systematic maintenance procedure will help you save time, money, and frustration. Again, planning and preparing systematic maintenance procedure will save time, money, and frustration. Number two, you cannot get a computer virus if you install antivirus software. Again, you cannot get a computer virus if you install antivirus software. Three, antivirus prevents an authorized access of 
personal computer information. 4. Malware is any type of software that is designed to damage your computer. 5. The motherboard chipset is the backbone of a system and its affects and influences virtually every other component in the system. 5. The motherboard chipset is the backbone of a system and it affects and influences virtually every other component in the system. Answer key. Number one is letter T. Two is letter F. Three, letter T. Four, letter T. Five, letter T. Who among you got perfect? Very good. How about those students who got low passing score? Yeah, nothing to worry about. We have still plenty of quizzes in the next preceding topics. Once again, congratulations! You can put your comments, suggestions, and questions on our Facebook page. See you in the next session. I am Teacher R.J. Belandres from Kamanlangan National High School for Class on the Air in Grade 12 CSS and see you too. Bye-bye! Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medard D. Api, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judiland T. U, Donna D. T. Bolivar, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas, Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Radyo Ziskwela, Ziguradong Masaya! Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao!
tagaan mo blingaw kay giving you the best music and everything that's what make us proud so turn your radio up don't stop chilling with the tune in so radio all day all night dito yung lang sans you radio isa no gasa para pa dudong sa balay mano trabaho giving you the best music and everything dito yung lang sans you radio Katikaran sa barangay. Idol ko si Ka. Mga kasulbaran sa mga problemang pambarangay. Idol ko si Ka. Paminaw kada biyernes. Alas 8 hanggang alas 9 sa bunta. Diri lang sa Z-Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. Idol ko si Ka. Makisayod sa hisgutan ng kalinaw alang sa kalabuan sa atong komunidad. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Paminaw kada biyernes alas 9 hanggang alas 10 sa buta. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Dilang sa Z-Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. For tips nga agri-tips. Problema ba ninyo ang baho sa hugaw o iti sa inyong mga alagang manok? Aon nga maminusan kini nga problema... Pwede ninyo butangan o grace hall ang salog sa kulungan sa inyong mga manok. Kini nga agricultural tip, hatod ka ninyo, Nicole Herb Zamora Apsay sa Octaem Agri School. Katambalan ng pag-ahon, isang bansang puso ay pinag-iisa. Nang tiging, lahat tayo'y umlar at aanga. Tawag na tahanan Ah, alagahan Patuloy pagyamanin Kulay at hindi Pagnatiliin natin Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatiling magkasangga Langit ay kakapiling natin
maging alerto. Department of Education with the support of World Vision Development Foundation. Ang pagpupugay ko 
Nangalang ng serbisyo, dedikasyon sa trabaho Pagmamahal ng isang ina, nararamdaman ko Ikaw ang humuhubog sa aming kinabukasan Laging inuuna ang kapakanan ng kabataan Kaya ang awit ko ito, ialay ko siyo Deped ako'y saludo siyo sa katapatan Sa pagsulong sa kinabukasan ng patuon Para sa di kalidad na edukasyon Bye. 
Isa na sa manggot Listen to the music and it feels so good Ay kung dangi hangtot Mapapunta ka pero lingaw man pot Sa balay man o trabaho Isa na sa man ka mo ato Giving you the best music Di rilang sa Z-Radio Tagaan mo glingaw, kai Giving you the best music and everything That's what make us proud So turn your radio up, don't stop Chillin' with the tune in, so radio All day, all night Dito yun lang sa Z-Radio Isa no ka sa pakapadutong Sa balay man o trabaho Giving you the best music and everything Dito yun lang sa Z-Radio Kai Tips nga agri tips. Kung aduna kay compost pile sa inyong balay, ayaw kalimti nga basaon kini aron nga dili maputol ang composting process, aron masagot ang inyong organic matter sa yuta nga pwede gamiton nga ginagmay nga abono sa mga tanong. Kini nga agri cool tip hatod kaninyo ni Cole Herb Zamora Upsay sa Octam Agri School. Mga isyu ug katikaran sa barangay. Idol ko si Kap. Mga kasulbaran sa mga problemang pambarangay. Idol ko si Kap. Maminaw kada biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 sa bunta. Diri lang sa Z Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. Idol ko si Kap. Makisayod sa hisgutan ng kalinaw alang sa kalabuan sa atong komunidad. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Paminaw kada biyernes alas 9 hanggang alas 10 sa buta. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Trilang sa Z-Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. Kini ang Siguradong Lingaw. Siguradong Lingaw. Siguradong Kuyaw. Siguradong Kuyaw. 88.5. 88.5. Z-Radio. Ano na ng 88.5? Z-Radio. Unsa sa mapunan Z-Radio? 88.5. Ah, kuya waoy! Ma 88.5 o Z-Radio man, kamo na minaw sa Ziguradong Lingaw. Ziguradong Kuyaw. Z-Radio 88.5. Ay pinag-iisa Nang hihihing Lahat tayo'y pumagawa 
maglulunlad at aangat. Ganyan tayo, kabrigada, diwan ang bayanihan, at din ang nasimula. Man ang mararating, mananatiling tayo ay magkasangga. Dahil sa tuwing kasama ka, kabayan ang kabrigada, lahat ang Tawag na tahanan Ah, halaga ang Pagkuloy pagyamanin Kulay at hindi Pagnatiin natin Buto lang Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatiling magkasangga Langit ay kakapiling natin The Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, and Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, Reing Construction Company, Rangay Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Counselor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertodato, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply, Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee, The School's Division Superintendent, Euphemia T. Gamutin Seso 5, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte. Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña. Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia Nohara O. Pinute Dr. Grace D. Pontilias Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc Juanito Lapiceros Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit Ryan Villanueva Jomar M. Dumupoy Bob Daylan S. Milabat Medar D. Apit and Paz Eugenia Villusino Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judiland T. U., Donna D. T. Bolivar, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas, Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Radio Ziskwala, Ziguradong Masaya! Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao.
Isa na sa man good Listen to the music and it feels so good Ay gundang ihangtot Mapapunta gan pero lingaw man put Sa balay man o trabaho Isa na sa man ka mo ato Giving you the best music Diri lang sa Z-Radio Tagaan mo glingaw kay Giving you the best music and everything that's what make us proud So turn your radio up, don't stop Chilling with the tune in, so radio All day, all night, little yun lang sa Z-Radio Isa no ka sa pakapadutong, sa balay man o trabaho Giving you the best music and everything, diri lang sa Z-Radio Panglawas, programang maghatod ka sa mga impormasyon mahitungod sa hisgutan ng panglawas. Kauba ng atong mga eksperto, Paminaw Matagwebes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 sa bunda. Diri lang sa Z-Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw, siguradong kuyaw. Hisgut Panglawas. Makisayod sa hisgutan ng kalinaw, alang sa kalabuan sa atong komunidad. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Paminaw kada biyernes, alas 9, hantod alas 10 sa buta. Kalinaw para sa kalambuan. Trilang sa Z-Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. For keeps nga agri-tips. Kabalo ba mo? Usa ka alternatibo sa organiko nga abono ang paggamit og concoctions sama sa fermented plant juice, fermented fruit juice o fish amino acid. Isago lang ang doha kutsara nga solusyon kada usa ka litro na tubig pag o kini spray sa tanom. Kini nga agricultural tip hatod kaninyo ni Cole Herb Zamora Upsay sa Octaem Agri School. For keeps nga agri tips. Kung aduna kay compost pile sa inyong balay, ayaw kalimti nga basaon kini aron nga dili maputol ang composting process, aron masagot ang inyong organic matter sa yuta nga pwede gamiton nga ginagmay nga abono sa mga tanong. Kini nga agricultural tip hatod kaninyo ni Col Herb Zamora Upsay sa Octaem Agri School. The Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arkikons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, 
Gen Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, Reing Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertodas, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply. Tawag na tahanan Ah, halagahan Patuloy pagyamanin Kulay at hindi Pagnatiin natin Buta lang Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatiling magkasangga Lagi pa'y kakapiling natin Radio, hanapin ang Z-Radio Halika na at makinig Mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radio Z-Skwela Makinig, matuto Sa Radio Z-Skwela May matutuhan bago Sa Radio Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Damo di Oro Radio Z-Skwela Maraw, ganun nga siyo'y susulong Kaya, halika na, mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radio Z-Skwela Makinig matuto Sa Radio Z-Skwela May matutuhang bago Sa Radio Z-Skwela Siguradong masaya Davao di Oro Radio Z-Skwela ng DepEd Davao de Oro Radio Siskwela Siguradong masaya! Let's go! Muli po nagbabalik ang Radio Siskwela Siguradong masaya and we are finished with our three lessons for today mga kasiskwela before we move on to our last and final uh, lesson presentation today mga kasiskwela we're just gonna have a short recap po sa ating uh, naganap na mga three lessons uh, lesson presentations magmula alas just ng umaga right we started off with uh, ma'am Cheryl S. Absin's uh, lesson about TVL uh, bread and pastry production that's preparing dessert and then at 11 a.m., we had a TVL Cookery, Cooking Poultry and a Game Bird Dishes by Sir Michael J. Leones, Teacher 1 of Composal National High School. And finally, the lesson that we just had, uh, Kanina, TVL Computer System Servicing, Planning and Preparing for Maintenance and Repair, Mr. R.G. Belandres, Teacher 1 of Kamanlangan National High School. And uh, I'd like to, of course, you'd like to grab this chance po na pasalamatan na ating mga uh, program sponsors sa ating uh, Radio Z School program. We have Nuana Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, 
Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Carvada Tagum Gas and Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Magenzy Builders, GPNH Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NAN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We In Construction Company, Langai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councilor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertadazo, Acon Builders and Supply, uh, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Pahati Construction. Right. And we'd just like to let you know that uh, just in case na miss po yung mga lesson present presentations natin dito sa Radio Ziskola, well, all you have to do is uh, look for us uh, on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Radio Ziskola DDO. By the way, naka-live tayo ngayon sa YouTube channel natin. So please, uh, please watch our YouTube videos. And of course, naka-live pa rin po tayo dito sa ating Facebook Live at Z Radio 88.5 FM. Deped Thai Division of Davao de Oro and Radio Z Escuela Deped Davao de Oro. When we return, mga Z Escuela, we're gonna have our final lesson presentation for today. That's gonna be presented by Sir Brian G. Panimdim, Teacher One, ng AOR NHS. That's about TVL, Electronic Product Assembly and Servicing Multitester. Right? Yan po ang ating pag-usapan sa pagbabalik po ng Radio Z Escuela dito lang sa 88.5 FM. Z Radio, Ziguradong Ningao, Ziguradong Kuyao, magbabalik po ang Radio Z Scholar.
Hisgot Panglawas. Programang maghatod ka sa mga impormasyon mahitungod sa hisgutan ng panglawas. Kauban ng atong mga eksperto. Paminaw Matagwebes. Alas 8 hanggang alas 9 sa bunda. Diri lang sa Z Radio 88.5. Siguradong lingaw. Siguradong kuyaw. Hisgot Panglawas. For kids nga agritips, mas maayong magtanom og nepier og indigo tree. Akon makatipid sa mga ipakaon sa mga kanding o karnero. Tipid na ka, busog pa imong mga alaga. Kini nga agricultural tip, hatod ganinyo ni Cole Herb Zamora Upsay sa Octaem Agri School. For kids nga agritips, kinahanglan ikastreet o ikapon ang mga lalaking baktin. Paghuman sa duha ka simana, sukad nga gianak sila. Importante kini, akon dili mo baho ang karne sa mga baboy pag sila matadahon na. Kini nga agricultural tip, hatod ganinyo ni Cole Herb Zamora Upsay sa Octaem Agri School. Tawag na tahanan Aalagahan Patuloy pagyamanin Kulay at hindi Pagnatiin natin Kapit lang Sama-sama Walang iwanan Mananatiling magkasangga Langit ay kakapiling natin Sa pagsulong Sa kinabukasan Na patuon Para sa di kalidad Na edukasyon Yeah. 
Lumalaban at nangangako Maihati pa rin ang Sabisyong tutuo Para sa kabataan Ginagawa ang lahat Maibigay lang ang Edukasyong karapat dapat Kaya't ang awit ko Edikasyon sa trabaho Pagmamahal ng isang ina Nararamdaman ko Ikaw ang humuhubog Sa aming kinabukasan Laging inuuna ang Kapakanan ng kabataan Kaya
handa maging alerto. Department of Education with the support of World Vision Development Foundation. Sa kabataan, saya at dunong Buong matasabay na aahon Panahon na naman ng brigada Pagpikisin lakas at diwa Tara na brigada na Brigada, eskwela Escuela, 
the Radio Z Escuela Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Tingog Party List, Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Mabanglo Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Kanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, V Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Counselor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Bertadato, Apex Mining Company Incorporated, and Icon Builders and Supply, Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee, The School's Division Superintendent, Euphemia T. Gamutin Seso 5. Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte. Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim. Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medar D. Apit and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Production and Communications Lorely E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judilan T. U Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riwen C. Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banyas Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Rajas Iskwela, Ziguradong Masaya, right and only here at Z-Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao. Oy, tara, magklase na ta! Tara, tara! Sige, sige! Let's go! Kumi na ang radyo, hanapin ang Z-Radio, Kana at makinig, mag-aaral tayo! Yay! Sa Radyo Ziswela, makinig, matuto. Sa Radyo Ziswela, may matutuhan bago. Sa Radyo Ziswela, siguradong masaya. Damo di Oro, Radyo Ziswela. Maraw, ganun nga siya'y susulong Kaya, halika na, mag-aaral tayo Yay! Sa Radyo Ziskwela, makinig matuto Sa Radyo Ziskwela, may matutuhang bago Sa Radyo Ziskwela, siguradong masaya Davao di Oro, Radyo Ziskwela Handog ng DepEd Davao de Oro, Radio Siskwela, siguradong masaya! Let's go! Yay! Davao de Oro, and to our listeners, and most especially to our learners, welcome to our presentation from Industrial Arts Track. Today, I will be going to present the specialization of electronic 
Product Assembly and Servicing. I am Teacher Brian G. Panimdim from Attorney Orlando S. Remando National High School, Division of Davao de Oro. Join me as we explore a new lesson in EPAS specialization. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Learners, we are now in the second quarter and third week of our lesson in Electronic Products Assembly Servicing. Today, we will be discussing about the parts and types of a multi-tester. The objectives of today's lessons are, at the end of this episode, the students will be able to learn how to first, enumerate the parts and types of multi-tester, second, perform how to use the multi-tester, third, value the importance of multi-tester in learning electronics. Please get your modules and listen carefully so that you will be able to follow our discussions and learn another lessons from our specialization. But before we proceed, May I remind you of the following simple rules on how to use your modules. First, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Second, read the instructions carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the quarter two, module two of the subject EPAS. Third, observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Fourth, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Fifth, Return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. Now, are you ready? Very good! I guess everything is all set. Then, let's begin. Later in our lessons, we will figure out if your answers are correct. You did great! Let's proceed to our discussion. In our previous exercise, we tackled the different parts and types of multi-tester. Multi-tester is the basic instrument of electronics which combines the three functions. Voltmeter, used to measure voltage, ohmmeter, used to measure resistance, and milliameter, used to measure small amount of AC current and DC current. There are two types of multi-testers, the analog multimeter, or multi-testers, or BUM, which has identified by a needle that moves on the scale indicating the value of the measured quantity. The other one is the digital multimeter or multi-tester or BUM. is identified mainly by numeric display in order to read and measure values. Parts of multimeter, multi-tester or BUM. First, pointer or needle. A needle-shaped rod that moves over the scale of a meter. It is mechanically connected to the moving coil. It indicates the measured values on the multi-tester scale. 
Second, wrench selector knob. Makes it possible to select different functions and range of the meter. Third, adjustment screw. Make it possible to adjust the pointer to the zero position of the screw. Fourth, test proof. Positive for the red color and negative for the black color. Used to connect the circuit to the electronic component being tested. Fifth, scale. A series of markings used for reading the value of a particular thing to be measured like components, wires connected in a circuit, outlets, etc. Only used in analog multimeter. Have different types of scale for voltage and current reading. The scales have mostly linear, which means equal division. For resistance, it has separate scale that only be used in finding resistance of a component. Six, digital screen. For digital multimeter or multi-tester DUM, where measurement readouts can be viewed. Now, I will show you the procedure on how to use the multi-tester. While listening, you may follow me as long as your materials are available. If not yet available for the meantime, please observe while I'm doing the demonstration on how to use the multi-tester because you are expected to apply all the knowledge and skills in using it. And I know you can do it. Okay, this is a digital multi-tester. Okay, we have the power button and we have the hold button, okay? So in a power button, you can see the number will be will appear. Then we have these selections. We have for the ohm, ohms for measuring the ohms resistance. We have the voltmeter for DC. We have the voltmeter for AC and the milliammeter for AC and the milliammeter for the DC. So if you're going to Move the button, you will see the changes of the point. Okay. Then we have the tester for the transistors. And this is the tester for the capacitor. Then we have this test proof. This is the test proof. We have the black for the negative. And we have the red for positive. Positive. Okay, we're going to put the black in the common ground and we're going to put the red or the positive to the other side. Okay. So that's all for the digital multimeter uh, demonstration. Now we are done. The Radio Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies. Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. At this time, we will have your post-test to assess what you have learned 
from our lesson today. Directions. Identify the parts of the multi-tester based on the given functions. Write your answers in your test notebook. I will read the question twice before you can write your answers. First question. To select different functions and range of the meter. To select different functions and range of the meter. Time's up. The correct answer is range selector knob. Second question. It indicates the measure values on the multi-tester scale. scale. Second question. It indicates the measure values on the multi-tester scale. Time's up. The answer is pointer needle. Third question. Identified by a needle that moves on a scale indicating the value of the measured quantity. Again, identified by a needle that moves on a scale indicating the value of the measured quantity. Time's up. The answer is analog multi meter or multi-tester or the VUM. Fourth question. Used in the measurement of small amount of EC current or DC current. Again, used in the measurement of a small amount of EC current or DC current. Time's up. The answer is Digital Multi-Tester. Fifth question. Identified mainly by numeric display in order to read the measure's value. Time's up. The answer is Digital Multimeter or Multi-Tester VUM. Sixth question. Where measurement readouts can be viewed. Again, where measurement readouts can be viewed. Time's up. The answer is digital screen. Seventh question. Makes it possible to adjust the pointer to the zero position of the screw. Again, Makes it possible to adjust the pointer to the zero position of the screw. Time's up. The answer is adjustment screw. Eight questions. All is is in analog multimeter. Again, all is is in analog multimeter. The answer is scale. Ninth question. A needle shaped rod that moves over the scale of a meter. Again, a needle shaped rod that moves over the scale of a meter. Time's up. The answer is pointer or needle. Tenth question. It has different types of scale for voltage and current reading scales have mostly linear which mean equal division. Time's up! The answer is analog multimeter scale. Now, check and count the number of the correct answers. Write the score in the upper right portion of your test notebook. Good job, learners! You did it!
the Radio Zispela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. and hit our objective for today. At the end of this episode, first, enumerate the parts and types of multi-tester. Second, perform how to use multi-tester. Third, value the importance of multi-tester in learning electronics. Great job, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And a job well done, everyone. Please don't forget to submit all your outputs during the scheduled retrieval and distribution of modules. Thank you so much. Once again, this is teacher Brian G. Panimbim, leaving you a quote. Never stop learning because life will not stop teaching. Till next time, bye! Rajas Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Euphemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief, Dr. Arlene B. Lim School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben J. Riponte Program Director, Dr. Arlene B. Lim Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Siquinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato M. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medar D. Api, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judilan T. Yu, Donna D. T. Bolivar, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riven C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas, Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Lanara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Rajas Iskwela, Ziguradong Masaya! Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao!